This tank is the FV215B183. This is a British Tier 10 tank destroyer, and the map is Nebelberg. Uh, this is a great tank. If you ever have a chance to get one, I highly recommend you do. It has a wonderful gun on it. Uh, I'm working on a mission, which is uh, TD15. Um, oh, this is a different mission. I think I co completed the TD2 aimed fire. Uh, yeah, I completed that mission. So I'm working on TD15 for the object 260, which is to do 8,000 damage. And with this tank, you can definitely do it. In fact, in this game, I think I'm going to do 5,000 damage from this spotting position. Now, one thing that I've discovered is that there's a heat round, which is the expensive, expensive premium round. And with those rounds, you do tons of damage with this tank. I ammo rack so many tanks with those rounds. You get 1,500 damage in one shot. So, and I don't lose money. So I'm still uh, taking me a while to get to position. You can see that there's a grill 15 uh, in position and I'm heading in that direction. At some point, I'm going to be in his vicinity. You want to be as close to the edge as possible. You don't have to worry so much about being spotted because you're going to be at the edge of the spotting range. And what's going to happen is there's going to be enemy tanks like the Super Conqueror that are going to um, advance after your allies. And they're going to make themselves vulnerable. So unfortunately, I got here a little bit too late, and he just uh, went, he just became unspotted. And he might be behind a solid object, which is why I'm going to have to reposition. I'm going to speed up the game. Okay, so that was 609 damage. When you're aiming, there's a circle that gets smaller and smaller. Your shot's going to land within that circle. So you want that circle to encircle the tank to whatever confidence level you believe is safe to fire your shot. You don't have to aim it in all the way. Okay, so now we got a Progetto over here. Let's see if we can take this guy out. I'm aiming a little too high right now. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing there. Got a long reload. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. One of the things you're going to notice is that we don't have good support on the east side. So at some point, I'm going to have to pay attention to what's going on in the east. This is not, I did not get the best position. Uh, the Grill 15 is in a better position than me. Okay, so I got two kills, a total of 800 damage. Now we see a much better view of the tanks up on that hill. Now obviously I could have taken that shot. Maybe I would have taken him out of the game. It was a tough decision to make. Gonna speed up the game. Let's see some more action. Nice, and using a high explosive round. So I did 555 damage, which is pretty good. Now we have a situation where our forward most tanks 
in the southeast are gone. So we have no spotters, which means I'm going to have to step up and do some spotting for my team. It really looked like I was going to miss that shot, but I did hit him. I got 590 damage, and I was not spotted. Now I'm in a dangerous situation. I could easily get spotted by firing on any of these tanks. Okay, so I got 623 damage on that tank. The other thing I did was that my gun was damaged, so I made sure to repair it immediately before firing the gun. You want to have a repaired gun when you fire. The other thing I want to mention is I had to move backwards and then I moved forward before I fired. It's better to move forward and backward. When you rotate your hull, it makes your aiming reticule become larger and less accurate. So it's better to move forward and backwards when you're uh, aiming rather than rotating the hull or going side to side. I usually I usually don't use my first aid kit unless someone is injured. Uh, if it's just for stunning, I usually just ignore it, unless I'm in a really tight situation where I have to act fast. I got 587 damage on that tank. And I got 509 spotting damage when he was taken out of the game by the grill. Score is 12-13. I've got 3,155 damage. And I got three kills. You'll notice that I knocked the tree down. I knock as many trees down as I can to increase my uh, my concealment. Still using HE rounds. So I did 975 damage and I ammo racked that tank. One thing that I noticed is that if you set a tank on fire if you're spotting a tank and somebody sets it on fire, I don't think you get the spotting damage from a tank set on fire because I saw it happen in a game recently. Now, when you're aiming for a tank, you can aim at the front, the middle, or the back. What I usually do, because the reticule is large, I aim for wherever I have the greatest chance of hitting something, which means I usually aim under the turret, which is the tallest point of the vehicle. I did 600 damage. I got over 5,000 damage. I did 288 uh, fire damage. And that's the end of the game for me.